Welcome back, everybody, to more EU4 with me, Dan, from Dan Has Fun. Now as Italy, and it has been, for me anyway, a long old time since any recording has happened. Uh, you may have noticed on the channel there was about a, a 10, 10 to 14 day delay there. Uh, just what happens in life, we ended up with uh, Hurricane Fiona, then I ended up getting a new job, same company, but new job. And then I ended up losing my voice. <laughs> so, yeah, not ideal. Anyway, let's get back to more EU4. And I also had a thought while, as in this mini hiatus, not intentionally, about what would the end of the game look like for us. And I'm thinking, this isn't set in stone, but I'm wondering if a nice way of getting to the end of the game kind of in our own mindset because you can run until like the 1800s if you really want to and we might end up getting there but i'm wondering if what we'll do is we'll try and get all of italy and then have a full path as a ring around the mediterranean obviously it's not going to be connecting because of things like the gibraltar strait technically you can walk across it but there's no land there uh same outside of constantinople well, I'm thinking maybe we'll try and do that. I'm not sure. That was just an idea that crossed my mind. We'll see how things go. Speaking of how things go, the religious war for the Holy League is still going on. So for state of context right now, as, let's do that. It's practically speaking, uh, Southwest and East Europe versus Scandinavia russia and the ottomans i'm still not sure who's going to win austria's what plus 23 they've pieced out most of the center of germany because uh, a lot of them were on the side of the ottomans and they've just been pieced out because they typically when you're a one province minor maybe you have two or three provinces you tend to only have one fort so that's really the only one that matters anyway let's unpause because i the only time i've touched this game uh, from the last time a recording batch was done was just to open it to save the game to reopen because there was an update in the meantime uh, and Brittany has pieced out with Austria immediately and given some territory to Provence and to Picardy actually kind of cool to see a big Picardy you don't see it very often Austria is kind of terrifyingly large let's clean up house a little bit too we can't afford to make the, oh, we can't afford it, but yeah, these two provinces are inland of territory we've not called yet, so we can't do that. We can religiously convert Kef, though, very, very slowly. So let's start doing that. Do we have an Inquisitor? No, we don't. Let's get an Inquisitor. That'll help speed up that conversion. Okay, so now we've done a little bit of cleanup on the religious side. We want to get a tech yet. No, there's no need. We might as well wait until at least next year, get the 10% penalty removed off 35. And for now, we're just going to watch and see where our opportunities are. Primarily because uh, Spain is technically able to join a coalition against us. Nobody else of any note can. The Mamluks just about can, but I don't think they will. But I think we'll be good on that side. Interesting, yeah, Portugal, minus one. No, they don't care at all. Portugal doing typical Portugal things with a lot of colonies. Uh, none of them want to break away, so good for them. If we go after Spain right now, hypothetically, Britain would come in, but unfortunately, Austria and Portugal would defend. So that is clearly not on the equation. Toulouse would bring Spain in, so we don't want to do that. We don't have a claim against it anyway, but it's good to know. Now, Milan is not a dangerous target right now. Nobody would join us, but that's not a danger. The only thing we'd have to be careful of is making sure, because Austria is at minus 46 aggressive expansion right now. We do have to be a little careful. So Milan's likely going to be our first target in the next episode or two. We'll see how long we want to wait. But for now, 
we are going to just go up to speed four and just try and be somewhat patient it's really hard because we're at maximum manpower but we're going to try naval officers are retiring that's fine and it's not great but it's fine we do have fifty thousand troops down there in the italian maghreb that is also fine the ottomans are getting their stack absolutely butchered that wasn't smart how many troops do the ottoman have okay they do have a lot of troops but they have no manpower Austria has significantly less troops, but it also has a lot more manpower. Oh, the gravest of insults. King George I of Great Britain has divorced the Queen. And <laughs> we do not like it. We get a diplomatic insult CV on them. I'm not going to attack Britain. It's way too inconvenient. And there are allies, technically, too. Well, they have enough ships to cause me problems, so we are definitely not going to do that we have too many diplo relations any of them just open borders no okay that's fine we're fine everything is fine i'm not sure who i really want to win out of austria and the ottomans in this scenario because we kind of don't well the, the ottomans like us because we hate austria but I'm not really sure if I want them to do anything. Where's that rebellion going to happen? Okay, just in the new territory. That's fine. That's why we have all those troops down there. Use our manpower on something. Morocco, you want open borders? You, you better believe you can have open borders. There's Russia. With a load of small stacks all clumped together. Interesting. I save. Okay, that's Arkan. I was going to say the Arkan and the Russian flag. I always mistake, but it's fine. Austrian nobles seek refuge. Uh, we can say no and Trent doesn't like us, or we can say yes and get a load of prestige and have pretty much everybody hate us. No, I'm good. I don't need the prestige. I'm already at what? 76 positive <laughs> so i think we'll be okay i think we'll be all right oh what scores at 22 now so it is slowly coming back oh munich's been uh, munich's been eaten by austria britain wants gold for their trade uh, for their favors that's fine if I was really min-maxing, I'd be saying no, but I really don't mind. But yeah, really the challenge in this religious war is that Austria is just being able to peace out one nation after another over and over and over again. Uh, our admiral died. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's the one that was idling here. Speaking of which, I might as well save some money for a bit and mothball. We'll still have our trade fleet doing their thing, but our other navy doesn't need to do anything. Helping hand. That is an incredibly expensive. So it would cost me a thousand ducats. <clears throat> Excuse me. To get 25% cheaper great project up upgrade cost. No, that's that's rubbish. I'd rather just take the two on rest. Even if I had the money, but I want them to do that. Fine. Sweden can definitely take it. They will need all the help they can get. I don't remember what, even what land is left for Sweden. Anyway, good luck to them. How much land did Morocco take off Tunis there? Okay, that's still fine. That is still okay. There's the rebels that we were talking about, and they spawned right on top of me, so that's convenient. Don't even have to move. How many troops did we lose? Eh, just a shade over 5,000, that's totally fine. It would appear uh, that Austria is starting to strike back at the Ottomans. Oh, we have no debate. Let's get a new debate. Okay, what would we actually like? 
Merchants is okay, but not amazing. Expand the diplomatic core. One extra diplomat, don't care. Impressment of sailors, no thank you. 10%, 15% uh, rather, cheaper culture conversion. No, that they're all rubbish. We'll just go for quartering troops. And let's see if there's anything nice and easy in here that we can give. Not losing army professionalism. You want some admin points? We're ahead, so absolutely. And we'll pay Republican tradition. There you go. That's going to save us some money for 10 years. And now that those rebels have been squashed, let's get you guys training. Ooh. There's a lot going on here. Okay, so... The Platinum has accepted peace with Austria. So, so the Ottomans have had to give up some land. Let's move. Too many notifications. So the Ottomans have had to give up. They gave up. <laughs> they gave up one province to Poland, which isn't connected directly only through their vassal. Then Austria has grabbed a few provinces out of the Ottomans. Trent becomes a vassal of Austria. Uh, the Platinate gave up a province. Lubeck gave up, well, Lubeck. And that will mean Catholic becomes the official faith of the Holy Roman Empire. That doesn't really matter to us because we can't join it anyway. That's perfectly fine. Everything else in there is just waffle. Um, the Austrian side gets a lot of prestige. Blah, 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 blah. So, what does that mean? We go to the Holy Roman Empire screen. You have to be Catholic. What that means, practically speaking, is Imperial Authority is going to drop off a cliff because there are 58 heretical princes in the Empire. But if you want to be an em you know, either the Emperor or an Elector, you have to be Catholic. They will never pass any other reforms for the rest of the game. That's what that means. What it also means is Austria is going to be massive. And we're going to be dealing with that. I mean, said our only challenge is that they're allied to Spain. That's it. And if we were going to attack Austria, we would have done it during the Holy War, but we can't do it yet. There will be a time, but not yet. And now they have this one province minor. Which we could actually support their independence for, which is really funny. We will watch and see who does, because we don't really care if Trent is independent, but if that's a way to disturb, then we will. We'll see if anybody else can get involved. I doubt it, but we'll see. Speaking of coalitions, that one province miner down here no longer wants to uh, be in a coalition against me. Probably pretty smart. They don't even have any troops. They have no troops. Obviously, they don't have any ships because they're landlocked. The only reason why we wouldn't declare on them is because they're allied to Morocco. We don't care that they're allied to the Mamluks. Like at this point, they're a non non factor. They would ally me, which is also adorable, but we're not going to. The Ottomans would almost ally us, which again would be hilarious, but is not really what we want. Although, having said that, we could use that as a way of having the Ottoman Navy get involved with the Spanish Navy. So it's not quite as stupid an idea as you'd think. Really, though, the reason why I don't want to do it is Poland and the Ottomans hate each other. And I really do want to keep Poland as an ally, even though they're not as strong, because I don't want Russia coming in taking out everything. Because they'll never have the strongest military, especially their infantry. Um, they're good, but not amazing. But they just end up with so many of them. That they just end up wearing you down. Anyway, let's keep waiting. We're going to be patient. I want to see if anybody's going to have any immediate rebellion issues. Going to get a. Yep, yeah, we can have a royal marriage with Poland. That is perfectly fine. We have Austria all over our border. We're definitely going to have to deal with them at some point. And having Toulouse allied to Spain stinks. 
absolutely stinks. And attacking Spain directly right now would just be death. I could take this province off the Mamluks, but it's really not worth it. I mean, it is nice. It does have a natural harbor in it, but I don't want to border the Ottomans yet. Really, we have to find a way to get at Spain. If it was a one-on-one, -on -one, even though we have slightly less troops, we'd probably win. We have better troops than them. But we have to wait until Austria's got either rebels or they have a coalition going on or something. But they, didn't, they didn't really take enough land to make that happen. There will be a few provinces that get in there. But not really anywhere near enough. And if I declare on Austria, the only nation that will come in is Britain. I'd have to use 10 favors, which is fine. Nobody else would jump in. Oh, wow. Morocco is horrendously in debt. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to wait one more year and then we're going to get some new admin tech. You want soldiers? Yes, please take soldiers. I'm at maximum manpower. We are okay with that. We don't want to become defender of the faith. It would be cool to get the extra missionary. But a lot of the Holy Roman Empire... Okay, that's just overseas. Yeah, a lot of the Holy Roman Empire is Protestant, and I would have to defend them every time. And that will lead to problems. So we're not going to do that. Why is our alliance looking to break? Oh, because Morocco hates Britain and Poland. And they don't like... Why is our trust so low with them? Well, if they're going to break this, then... Let's start building a spying network then. And we'll start on what we were talking about at the very beginning of the episode. We can now... Yeah, we can't call Kef yet because Kef is being religiously converted and you can't do both at the same time. How many troops do Morocco have? 59,000. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nearly as many as them at this point. And they're behind me on military tech. Not by a lot, but by a smidge. Yeah, if they want to break alliance with me, then we'll just attack them instead. I'm fine with that. They have 56 chips, which is pretty good. I guess we'll also stop mothballing my navy, just in case. We do have a new level of army professionalism. So this is not very helpful, but at this point, if you disband an army, you get the manpower back into the pool. If we're getting to the point where we're having to disband armies, we're probably not doing things right. <laughs> we're doing it wrong. We do have a hundred spying power on Austria still. Anything that we'd really want to do right now, because we're clearly not attacking Austria currently. We don't need to steal maps off them. My concern about supporting rebels is they have so many troops they're just going to crush them. And let's say I pick, just as an example, French separatists. Yeah, it's only 10% for five years, and it's only five provinces, too. Peasants will be in a lot more provinces, but they're just not good enough in combat to ever justify supporting. So we're just going to sabotage their recruitment so that their manpower grows back slower. That works for me. We'll just annoy them gently. <laughs> oh, Toulouse collapsed. They tried to eradicate the heretics and they failed. There is Morocco breaking their alliance with us. And that means we want to... Well, they'll probably cancel our open borders, like, immediately. If they don't, we'll do it next time I have a diplomat available. A 
I'm not giving you money right now. Manpower, sure. Money, no. I guess we should just get... We'll get five more heavy ships too. They are expensive and galleys in the Mediterranean work nearly as well. But if we end up having the deal with Spain, it'll be helpful to have those. Uh, we have a lot of provinces we can convert now. So let's go for the reformed one first because it will be easier. Trying to convert the Sunni religion, you get a 2% penalty, which doesn't sound very much until you work out on the calculation that you only have, what, so it'd be 4, 5.5, 7.5, 8%, 9.5% conversion power. The 2% is like over a fifth. Um of your actual conversion strength being nullified. But it is quite significant. We do want to wait until January 1594, and then we're going to get some more admin tech. They cancelled our fleet basing rights. Oh no. <laughs> I'm devastated by that news. He lied. We're still converting Kef. We're going to be converting Kef for another year or so. That's fine. We don't mind a 15% penalty. We're going to get Metallurgy, Admin Tech number 16. And that will allow us to build a mill and increase our production efficiency by 2%. Doesn't sound very much, but I'm not complaining. It is reasonably useful. Now, the next tech level, number 17, you need to have global trade without to know avoid getting a penalty. We, we don't have that yet. I don't even think it can spawn yet. Global trade. Yeah, 1600. Do we have the capacity to get this? No. So in order to have global trade spawn in your territory, you have to have the highest value trade node in the world. And don't get me wrong, Venice is pretty good. But as we've seen before, it's not good enough for what we need. Yeah, we're at 36.4 gold. There's 47, 40. We're about the same as the Constantinople trade now, which is very, very good. But yeah, it's not number one. Yeah, there's 59 over here. We really would like Spain to not get global trade because being a rival, it's not going to spread to us very quickly. It would have to spread to us through Toulouse, who... We're kind of just indifferent to. They're scared of us. They would ally. But that doesn't help me. Yeah, you can have military access for whatever reason that you want it. Ooh. One of our generals, Cosimo Corsini, has just improved his shock. He is now an unbelievably good military leader. And Bohemia is now in a golden age. We have to remember to trigger hours before the end of the Age of Reformation. It's not an absolute we have to, but I want to, and I'm, I'm worried I'm going to forget. <laughs> I am very worried that I'm going to forget. Agricultural Revolution. We can get some more base stats in this province here. What do you have currently? Uh, oh, it's a 111, so it's going to be irrelevant regardless. Get some more manpower, why not? Austria is just filling up its elector pool again. So who do we have now? Brandenburg, Saxony, Munster, Trier, Würzburg, Liège, and Utrecht. Minus 0 0.38 on the Imperial Authority growth. Yeah, like I said, they're never going to get past anything through ever again. Oh, and France now has peasants. <laughs> poor France. Oh, poor France. They have just absolutely fallen apart. I guess the only thought now... Okay. Because Djerid is allied to Morocco, they're clearly going to allow Morocco to have open borders. So that's how we'll get through to them. Because very obviously Spain isn't going to indulge us on that front. But we do have enough 
for a claim if we can claim anything okay we we don't have anything to claim yet if i go after so if i go after jared i'm gonna have to get a claim morocco obviously would defend them the mamluks would defend them but the mamluks really aren't that strong either and i just don't buy that the ottomans would let the mamluks through They'd have to ferry them around. Okay. What we're going to do then is we're going to take a third stack of troops and we're going to hope the AI is going to not be as stupid as it normally is and it will actually take these troops over. We'll see. We'll see what it does. And... I was say for next month we don't need to keep spying on austria for now i guess we might as well use the points on something uh no i can't afford to fabricate a claim report rebels somewhere just to be annoying yeah the french separatists did revolt let's have the hungarian ones be annoying as well they might not ever rebel but hopefully they'll annoy them just a little bit have no truce with France, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it'd be actually quite helpful if I put my diplomat down here, wouldn't it? Let's try that again. We're attacking more natives, what a surprise. They are slowly moving these troops over. They're getting there. Now we will need to pull our navy back if we're going to do what we're going to do against Jared because the Ottomans only have 37 ships but add that to Morocco 60 and we are pretty outnumbered. And their Diplotech is the same as ours. Yeah, we're not becoming defender of the faith. Not happening. Not happening. We should get a new... Oh, he's not great. Ottav Ottaviano di Ferrari with his 1-2-4. Not great, but better than not having one. Oh no, our reputation has been turned. Oh, that, that is terrible. Yeah, we'll eat the Diplo points, I guess. I'm not taking a stability hit. That is so expensive to improve when you're a Republic without a hundred Republican tradition. That's fine. Just checking while we're just waiting at this point. See if there's anything else we need to do. Yeah, to do we even know if there's an Ethiopia? We can't see them yet, so we can't do that mission. We have finally converted that, so we can get our core on Kef. We're going to end up with way too many admin points. So we might as well spend them on something again. So if we go to development, is this one? Go by efficiency. As always, we want to try and round things up, so we're going to get Pisa to... 30 development you can't go there so we're going to do one pump like that oops and they got a 21 trigger fingers there we go that'll help out a little bit we don't want to leave our powder completely dry because we're going to need some admin points for coring hopefully they have no manpower what is morocco doing right now Portugal's developed veneering. Price of tropical wood goes up until the end of the game. Not very helpful for us, unfortunately. We don't have any. I guess I should move this stack back. The add to template tool is not intelligent enough to combine. Unless you're in the province still that you added the ships to. So we'll run back. Ba, 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 ba. Why is our... Oh, they're doing counter espionage. I was going to say, why on earth is this taking so long? Yeah, we're only getting an increase of 0 0.12 spy 
network every month. Okay, so with that being the case... Do we want to go after the Mamluks instead? We'd have to get a CV against them. Uh, not that interesting. I could support rebels in Morocco and then attack them defending the rebels, but uh, that doesn't really feel it either. Do we want to just take Milan out? Bohemia would join us now, which is interesting. What's our aggressive expansion look like? It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> well, this plan completely changed. We're not going to bother moving our other stacks back right now. We don't need to. But we're going to invite Bohemia in and just have them beat up everybody else while we beat up Milan. That works for me. Because we're sitting on full manpower and I hate it. That's fine. We can stop doing that with our diplomat. We're going to wait just a couple of month ticks. Wait one more just so we can get our morale back. And then I think what we'll do is we will attack them next episode. So, yeah, please stick around. It'll be fun. Portugal's just done the first circumnavigation. They get 100 prestige. Good for them. Yes, we'll attack them next episode. Please do stick around. I know this is a bit of a setup, but uh, the world at large was not cooperative to our needs. <laughs> so I will hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video, and if you'd like to see more, feel free to stick around.